Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to export all kind of videos from Twinmotion. For doing that, going in media mode and going to the video and click here to create your first video. I'm in this scene, in this frame, and I want to make an animation toward these chairs, for example. Change the view this way click create video we are going to the video part when we going back we create a video for example you can rename it number v number one click on it we are going to the video clips we are in this frame if you change the frame you have to click refresh to refresh that then going to the position number two for example in this position and click on this plus to make a frame here and simply we create an animation this is indicator you can click and drag it and you can see you're simply create part one of video one <clears throat> and here you can simply play that it plays in 10 seconds here you can change if you want to go in faster you can click here click once or double click and type five the five second as you can see you can go first frame you can go last frame <clears throat> going to the first frame and play and you can, as you can see we are going uh, faster okay going back this is part one I want to make another part, for example, going to this position. I, I am mm, going to this balcony. And here I want to make part two. You can click new video part. I want part two. This frame is created and I want to camera rotate like this. And first rotate your camera and then <clears throat> create keyframe when you uh, click and drag this indicator as you can see we create part 2 and I want to this part with 5 seconds move faster as you can see we have two parts if you play going to the part to cut to the part 2 and you can collapse or expand these parts part 1 part 2 very easy when you want to transition between part one or part two, you can click on this icon and, for example, fade to black. As you can see, when you click fade to black and then going to the part two, you're fading to white. <clears throat> fading to white, the black is better. Okay, so what we have here? We are in a video, we create a video going to the video one in a video one we have two parts in every part when we click that or or uh, uh, you don't need to click going to uh, click on this 3d dot you can expand part i will be explaining there or simply click expand part expand two part and in each part we have frames for example, I want to expand frame uh, part one. For example, I want the camera rotate like this and click on this create. And in the part one, I have three frame that have animation like this. Going camera right here and turning to the part two. You can do anything here. Okay in which frame we have sitting you learn refresh and in this three dot we have you can delete that copy ambient and paste ambient what's that for example in this mode uh, I'm going to this mode and you when you click each frame you can in more you can change lots of sitting that I explained in the previous lesson, please refer to them. As you can see, the sitting uh, of the software is disabled, but in a more, you can go in here back. 
If you want to immediately back to the media, click on this. <coughs> In a more, in every frame separately, you can change lots of sitting here that you see. For example, in the location, I changed the uh, data time uh, time update here, and simply going back to the media. As you can see, in this frame, we have this time update, and this frame we have this. When you play. As you can see, the sun will be animated from this frame to this frame. Okay. <clears throat> I want this uh, time update copy or copy to another frame. You can simply copy ambient or everything that's in a more setting and simply go in here and paste ambient. As you can see, the time update is that same. <clears throat> okay. So you can in every frame, for example, in this frame, you can go into the weather and turn it to the, uh, for example, autumn or winter, oh, winter. Going back to the media, as you can see, when we play, sun changes and season changes. But it isn't going to make it tend to play slower play as you can see the sun changing and the season is changing also <clears throat> that's very interesting so you can change any sitting in a more separate frame okay in a part you learn you can uh, really increase or decrease the speed of the playing of this part in this three dot you can cut copy paste or delete this part or rename it that or collapse that you can collapse or expand uh, <clears throat> any part individually and there is an important sitting here single ambience or a start and end ambience this is single ambience this is single ambience in a part in a frame we have we can change the sitting separately for each frame and the software translate between two different, for example, date and time, as you can see. And in a sitting, you can access the sitting and you can change the sitting for all part. For example, in all part, you can change the uh, date of time for our part. But the as you can see, if you change the sitting for our part, the sitting of individual frame will be disappear. Pay attention to that. Okay, for example, I want to simulate the day cycle. You can go in here, click on these three dot, and start and end ambience. And interesting thing happened that we can ch uh, change the sitting at the start of the part and change the sitting at the end. For example, at the start, <coughs> I change the date of time, for example, in the morning, and going back to the media. <coughs> at the end, at the end, I keep the weather, the spring, the, the summer, and at the end, the location, date of time, like that, that's okay. Okay, it is a start. When you play that, the sun change to the end <coughs> and sunrise. So you can change the start setting that translation translate to the end of the part. For example, you are in this morning, going to the night, night to the morning change season, change <clears throat> anything, any sitting that you learn here, change lighting, change sky dome, change moonlight, everything that you want. Instead of back, 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 you can simply go back to the media, access this frame. <clears throat> okay, going back, and this, and this is our video, the main video, that we have two part. When you export this video, 
<clears throat> the animation begins here I'm going to the part two with that transition and this is our video number one you can create your video number two simply here for example I'm going to the this tree <clears throat> and uh, in a going toward and make animation in the whole sitting I go into the lighting like this going back to the media and this is my video number two going back this is video number one this is video number two click here and rename it video number two in this video number two click on it <clears throat> we have one part with two frame like this oh I forget I forget to refresh I'm going here going here and down and refresh that so in this frame okay that's right <clears throat> going back and click here I make this animation like this okay going back in the video we have two main video you can click on them and going to that in the settings you can rename delete or duplicate and an important part of this setting is in a more here you can change the output size of your video you can click here choose between 2k 4k or custom in a more in the custom you can change for example hd going back in video 2 and the fuzzing uh, i will be teaching next lesson in scene state uh, phasing okay going back to the video okay now is everything is ready to export these two these two videos going to the export section and everything's empty because just we prepare a video if you prepare image or panorama there are uh, not empty in here this active and click on that and the first part you can choose which video you want to export when you click on it it's highlighted and when you click again it's highlighted if you click disable it you can select all or deselect all <clears throat> the software if you have 1000 for example video it export uh, for you all of that okay for example i select this okay sorry select this video and video number one is here in a more in a more setting you can either uh, export uh, any clips that you found for example clip click that on empty <clears throat> as you saw before we have video number one that has two part and video number two one part you can export this these parts separately beside the main video the software export when you choose them here for example part two the software export uh, the video number one and the part of two of video number one separately in two video in a format you can uh, change the format of the exporting mpeg gives you a mp4 video and png give you separated png frame for example uh, when you choose mp4 or anything in a more you can here uh, control or change the frame rate frame per second fps what is that for example you have one second that has uh 30 or anything that you choose here 16 uh frames all of that for example 30 images that uh together create one second and you can change them if you increase this number the animation is smoother but your uh video is very the volume of video are increases also going back to the sitting and interesting part is here you can choose between a standard video 3d video or 360 degrees 
video that I export. This is very time consuming. For example, I export 10 seconds in uh, 8K. You have to export in 8K in uh, this spherical video export because of quality. It takes, for example, in my this PC, eight hours. It's very long time. A standard video that is our MP4 video, <clears throat> 3D. We have to, for example, we are a VR headset. Uh, we can play 360 degree video and 360 video with the 3D. This software is very nice for this export. I exported 360 degree video. I share you in the, the last uh, in the next video. Okay, for example, uh, uh, I'm going to the standard. You can choose between them here. If you choose the, this, the 360 resolution activate, and you can choose between them. The best is 8K. Okay, going back to the standard refinement off or on is for interior render that make uh, your uh, quality of reflection high. If you want to more quality for reflection, turn it high or turn it off. And I'm in the exterior render and don't need to any reflection. Max lighting definitely turn it on in a default is on it's when you uh, for example in a previous lesson I explained the uh, auto expose of this software when you go in a dark place or a light place on a room uh, it changed the expose the brightness or darkness of the scene in this scene that I have changing the time of date of course you have to turn on the max lighting to give you the max lighting of each scene okay this is all of the sitting and going back and when you choose the video one at chimp and set its settings click start export uh, give it the select a folder for exporting paths and when you click the select folder the render will be begin and that's it and export for you very fast and with a high quality this software is beautiful and exciting okay that's it video to the waiting for next lesson hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.